one, a, one hospital, which at the moment is absolutely stretched to capacity, closing down frequently because of overuse. My wife and another patient went on a journey to uh, Woolwich Hospital from Lewisham Hospital, not even from the depths of Dan or Sydney, but from Lewisham Hospital. It took her one hour, 49 minutes yesterday, from nine o'clock. So, if you've got any responsibility for health, you should keep on ducking by saying it's not your responsibility other than health inequality. Can you stick to health inequality and think about the black community in this, uh, in this town? Sickle cell disease, diabetes, women pregnant, bleeding. They need it. Very, very strong 
<laughs> feeling that you communicate to me and the strong views of uh, clinicians uh, in the mission about uh, how they see things with the, what I cannot contradict is the expert opinion. What is Who say that they too, who say that they too, like you sir, and like you, are actuated by a desire to improve <laughs> clinical outcomes. <laughs> Unless I take that into account, uh, we would be in the position in London of opposing every single uh, reform, uh, every single and, is, and I'm told, I must tell you this in all candour, I'm told that uh, the reforms that are proposed, uh, just in respect of uh, this area, could save in the region of 100 lives. I'm so sure. On the other hand, I have to wear oh, the. Uh, I have to wear the. You don't need 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 to wear the. I am a practicing doctor, a clinician, who works in the NHS, and I know what an action campaign you should be running. We are also face the same challenges in London. But the thing about Yoshim is this, that this wasn't your problem. No. This no, is a problem. No. And, it was and I really am surprised that the mayor can sleep at night. No. No. I am really concerned that he says he has no right over what happened in the NHS, but he had an obligation. Yeah. He had a sort of responsibility to reduce the inequalities of health in London. Part of his inequality is making accessibility of healthcare services. He has no responsibility of, of the rate of taxation as a country, but he fights to reduce the taxation from 50 pence to 45 cents. Yeah. He has no jurisdiction on the school academies of the country, he but he interferes in that. Yeah. He has no jurisdiction on the bank, bankers bonuses, yeah. but he goes out his way to campaign for that. This paper about 100,000 lives. This comment was attributed to Sir Bruce Bukio. That Jeremy Hunt had to withdraw that comment. That comment is not, a, is not a fact, it's not going to be based. The only evidence is this that this model is based upon an assumptions which are unproven, untested, lies about this. Yes, sir. Thank you, Chair. Well, as a Lewisham councillor as well as a uh, London Assembly member, I've been putting questions like this to the Mayor for several months now. And every time I put them, we've got the same old waffle from the Mayor. It was also different back in 2008 when the Mayor was first standing to, Boris Johnson was first standing to be Mayor of London. He went to Bexley, he campaigned for uh, Queen Mary at Bexley's to stay open, he spoke out, he criticised the government and he spoke up for his constituents. Why is he not doing the same for <laughs> There's not one iota of clinical thinking behind these proposals. <laughs> to the Mayor tonight is will you finally support the London Borough of Lewisham in its legal action against the Secretary of State and support the campaign to save Lewisham Hospital? It's quite clear to everybody that these proposals are not clinically led, they're financially led. There is, there is absolutely no evidence that they will lead to clinical outcomes, anything other than negative clinical outcomes. And, uh, I, or, or indeed, yes, and we've asked about financial savings and we've been told they don't even know what they are. So it doesn't even 
make sense financially. Um, I was going to say this, that uh, a recent Freedom of Information request by my uh, Lib Dem colleague here in, in Lewisham, Chris Maines, has shown that in the last year alone, um, the uh, London Ambulance Service has dealt with a 15% increase in the most critical life-threatening calls from Lewisham residents. So I think that proves that there is a need for increased a &E services in this borough, not a reduction. And, and finally I want to say this, the Mayor's job is to speak for Londoners. I, I think in this hall, it is clear to everybody what Londoners think about the proposal for Lewisham Hospital. And I say, I say this to Boris, speak, do your job, speak for Londoners, speak for Lewisham residents, and speak out against the